Hi guys, my name is Peyton Sarton. If you are new here and if you're a returning subscriber, you know I already love you. So today I'm doing a day of my life in Malibu. My boyfriend Joe came in town and we got a little condo on the beach in Malibu and I'll do a tour of our condo in a second because it's unreal. But we just wanted to have like a little getaway from the city for the weekend, so that's what we're doing right now. Say hello to the people. Hello everyone. <laughs> this is my angle that I get to see of Joe. What you do is a thing, you know that thing on TikTok where you see what angle your voice do it at your eyesight level. Straight down. <laughs> Coming in for the kiss. <laughs> so this morning I got up kind of early and it was absolutely stunning outside. But I woke up and it was so pretty I could not go back to sleep. I edited some video. I got in the shower, I got ready for the day. We were deciding what we wanna to do today, so I think that we're gonna go, first we're gonna go get coffee. So we're gonna head into town, which is like a mile down the road. I think it's called the Malibu Country Mart. We're gonna go grab some Starbucks. We're also gonna to go to Whole Foods, we need a few more things. I also have a really exciting partner for today's vlog, so when we come back, I will show off all the goods. Come here. Cute guy, we kind of are wearing neutrals, some earthy tones. Yeah. This is me dressing up cute to go to Starbucks because <laughs> we're in Malibu and everyone's fancy here. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Will you unbox everything that you purchased? So this is... The coconut thing. This is the largest fudge brownie I've possibly ever seen. Largest fudge brownie he's ever seen. Possibly the most important item here. The almond croissant. Amazing. Coming in at number two, I'm gonna say, <laughs> is the coffee cake. Oh, that's my number one. So I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of our space here. So we got this on Verbo. This is a cute kitchen. We kind of already like, you know, moved in, so it's not super clean, but here we are. She's Gorge. All the appliances are like essentially new. This is kind of like the dream place to live. Then I'll show you real quickly the bathroom. I just tell a funny bathroom story in a second. We have a shower and the shower actually looks out. You can see like out to the living room and there's also a shade that you can put down though. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then here is the living room area and the bed. So it's just like a studio, but it's like a very spacious studio. The star of the show is this view. Look how gorgeous this view is. The sunset is unbelievable. Y'all will see later today. It's truly amazing. Oh my God, the tide is up so high. Today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa and I've actually partnered with them before. So this is my second partnership with Ana Luisa and I am so excited for it. I absolutely love their jewelry. A little about Ana Luisa, it's a very high quality jewelry company and it doesn't have like a luxury markup on their jewelry. So they're affordable and high quality at the same time. So they have a year long warranty to replace or refund you for jewelry that is not up to your liking. They're also a carbon neutral company, which is quite rare, I think, for jewelry companies. And they produce in limited batches, which means a lot less waste. Their prices range from $39 and up, so there's really something for everyone. I have a few Ana Luisa pieces on right now, so I will show you guys the ones that I chose and my favorite. First, I have these Toda Huggy earrings. They're made of recycled sterling silver. They're plated with 14 karat gold. All of their plating is done in-house. They're priced incredibly fairly at $75, and again, this company is all carbon neutral. I really like the size of these to wear in my main earring hole or in and the second one. I also got the Chloe ring, and this is priced at $59. And again, this is priced incredibly fairly because Ana Luisa cuts out middlemen, so it makes everything priced really well. This is plated in 14 karat gold as well. This ring is hypoallergenic and also has that 365 day warranty. I love this woven pattern. I feel like it's just the cutest everyday ring. And because of the quality, I feel like I can wear this every day. Next, I got the Kelly necklace. I am going to wear this every single day. I love the angel wings. 
This necklace is $55. Again, plated in-house in 14 karat gold and also hypoallergenic, and it has the year-long warranty as well. This is, again, something that I'm going to wear every single day. I think it's so cute. I love the whole, like, angel energy fad that's going on right now. I just, it's so cute to me. So, also, you can wear this necklace at two separate lengths, so it's just kind of versatile and so well-priced. Lastly, I'm wearing the Michelle earrings. I thought these were really cute for day to day, but really I'm excited to wear them when I get a little more glam and I have something fun to do, or if I go on a trip or something like that, these would be so cute on a tropical vacation. As with the rest of their pieces, these are plated in 14 karat gold and they're also hypoallergenic. And these are $75, so really everything's under 100 bucks, which I find to be so nice for a very high quality jewelry company. So I will include more information about Anna Louisa as well as links to everything that I love down below. Okay, so I have, this one's my favorite by the way, the coffee cake. I have a little interesting story about what happened to me last night. <laughs> if you watch my stories, you've already seen this, but so last night I was going to pee and I was like being sassy to Joe and I was like, don't come in here. So I like go inside the bathroom with the little thing that puts the shade down so that you can't see through the shower. And I also locked the door for like added dramatic effect. And I peed, I, got, <laughs> I go to leave, the door will not open. And it literally would not unlock. I think I, how long do you think I did that for? 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Originally, yeah, probably 10 minutes. I kept just like unlocking, minutes. unlocking, like relocking, unlocking, like moving the door around. And so then I was like, well, this isn't really going in my favor. Joe contacted the manager of this condo and was like, hey, my girlfriend's locked in the bathroom. <laughs> There's a little tiny window out that goes to the front of the house uh, in the bathroom. We took the little screen off and he was giving me my wine and my phone. So at that point I was like, all right, well I can sit in here forever with my wine and my phone. We decided I'm gonna try to get out of this window. And I was really nervous because I thought it was gonna be painful for sure. But I climbed up onto the toilet. I put my head out of the window and my arms out of the window and grabbed him on the other side. And then he pulled me out like slowly and we just, we successfully did it. We made it out. I'm free. But then I realized we still have to pee at some point, and all of my stuff was in the bathroom, including tampons, and I'm on my period right now. So like, I can't just be like not having tampons or going to the bathroom. We knew at some point that I was gonna have to go back into the bathroom, so basically, we went back outside, and he put me into the window backwards, and I <laughs> slid it backwards. I finally made it in and was grabbing everything, and I decided to mess with the door a little bit more, and so after like a few more times messing with it, I finally got it open, so crisis averted. Thank God. But that <laughs> was our night. It's the first, it starts the night. <laughs> yes. We had made a lovely dinner for ourselves and it was freezing by the time we ate it. But then <laughs> <laughs> we watched The Undoing. We got hooked. We're halfway through. So that was our that was our night last night. So these are my two favorite fruits. I also like strawberries a lot. But mango and blueberries. I am in heaven right now. Oh my god. Nothing is better. Alright, so I changed into something more dynamic because it's kind of warm outside so we're gonna go out and go on a drive and do some exploring. So I wanted something that could take this off and have a tank top on and put this on when it gets a little colder. Let's see how the tide is doing. Maybe we can go down here. Oh my God, it's still so high. You can kind of see it's kind of going down over there. <laughs> We just pulled over here. Look how stunning this view is. Wow. That house is winning. Do you see it? Deep valley over there. We went all the way up the road up here. We went all the way up the whole mountain and we came back down on Malibu Canyon Road, correct? Correct. So now we're going back towards the PCH. I think there's more on this street. So Malibu Canyon Road is the one you need to turn it on. We're in search of tacos right now. We'll see if we find any. Currently ordering Cafe Habana. It's gonna take like 15 minutes for us to get our tacos. So we're gonna go to Whole Foods so I can pee. I got shrimp tacos and I'm looking at my dead skin on my nose. Ew, ew. <laughs> 
Joe has ordered a grilled corn for himself, chicken enchilada, pork taco, fish taco, steak taco, and salsa and chips. So telling him he needs to cut down one taco, I would say you finish it. You finish your food 80% of the time, but in this case, you're not gonna finish this. Is that a challenge? We're not spending $85 at the taco place for not even a meal <laughs> for a snack. Yeah. Which one are you gonna remove? Mm, I feel like I need to get a fish taco. Yeah, I feel like the steak is the one that you could probably get without. Cause I feel like you just love pork. Gross, but okay. Big Sugar Mama coming on. Yeah. Um, Sugar Mama, did you ever watch Proud Family? Yeah, a little bit. Do you remember Sugar Mama with her bunions? I never, ew, I didn't really watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Proud Family. We made it home. And I wanna go on a little walk on the beach, but we're also very hungry, so. Okay, so the shrimp tacos are a yay for me. I love this. <laughs> like orange. This is kind of green, also. It's like orange, yellow, green. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Well, Joe's gonna be out here enjoying his life and I'm going to get to editing tonight's video. Okay, so I have been working on my video for the past four hours <laughs> and Joe has been sitting here <laughs> watching TikToks. So I am actually not going to edit anymore. I'm gonna get up on Sunday, whoops. Because we ordered Nobu and it's time to eat. Yeet. We ordered a true feast, I will show you. All right, so we've got edamame here. We've got the gyoza dumplings. Yeah, yes. Uh, Yellowtail sashimi, obviously with ponzu. The Malibu crab hand roll, this is like one of their popular things. The rock shrimp. I think so, yes. Spicy tuna crispy rice, and then a bunch of sushis. Yum. And the star of the show, some sake. Look at this spicy tuna to crispy rice ratio. What has been your favorite thing so far, Joseph? Mmm, the yellowtail appetizer, I think. Yeah, I think that's mine too. Uh, I don't know, the crispy rock shrimp is really good too. Crispy rock shrimp is good. I haven't gotten to the sushi yet, but I've been trying to say that for us. We're doing appetizers first. Okay, I'm gonna have this Malibu baked crab pan roll. Ooh, I'm so excited. I need some wasabi on it. Keep the chopstick skills. I don't have very good chopstick skills. I really can't stand it, so. What? I, it's not for me. Why? It's just too spicy. Spicy. Well, I have no soul. So I like mm, that would make sense. <laughs> so we started the undoing yesterday, and we're gonna watch the rest of it today. We have three more episodes, and so far we've been flip flopping on who we think it is. Obviously, they make it look like it was Nicole Kidman's husband. Mm -hmm. I don't remember his name. Like there's something about her that's like off, it feels like from the way they're shooting it, but it also could just be like her, she's super disoriented about her life. Maybe. Yeah, she's very high stress. Mm -hmm. Let's see, um, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Do you undo it? <laughs> Jonathan is the- Husband? Husband, that's the main suspect. Elena's the one that dies. Also, why does Elena's husband seem like such a terrible father at first? I know. They, they just show him in bed looking angry all the time. And then I don't think he necessarily looked angry. I think you just assumed that of him because I think it's just like his face looks. He just looks so intent. Maybe that's because his, his face, face looks like that. And they're also just like in a really dingy place, so it just like looks like he's <laughs> unhappy. They probably had a stressful life. Their he's one stressed. kid needed surgery. Look how intense he looks in that photo. So he just has an intense face. So obviously they have Jonathan as the front runner as the suspects, but I think that it's too obvious. Though maybe it is so obvious and it is the one and then they're like, they know that we're gonna think that it's too obvious and we're gonna go with the other one. My mind has been. <laughs> I'd be a little bit upset if they made it that obvious. Nicole Kidman Grace is her character. Possible, like we feel like we know everything about her, mm -hmm. the way that it's shot, but maybe we learn that we don't at the very end. It's like, ooh, what about like the little kid? What if he found out and killed her? Ooh. Because he was so suspect of the police. Yeah. The one, the people I can rule out are literally just the detective. <laughs> <laughs> right. And her he's, son, that Elena's safe. son. Elena's, <laughs> he yeah. killed his own mom. <laughs> yeah. 
She, wow. The daughter that she has with Jonathan. Don't think she did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm so lost. There could be so many different endings to this, and I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> this is suspenseful. Other than maybe Nicole Kidman doing it, calling her dad. I'm gonna say super plot twist. Somehow the kid mm -hmm. did something terrible. Yeah, we don't expect it at all. Mm -hmm. And he called, maybe he called grandpa and grandpa, he's like, fuck. Maybe. And maybe that's why she's so clueless. I'm really reaching right now, so anything that happens. But I mean, it's, it might be a reach. So we're gonna finish that tonight because I'm invested. We got a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. This side is better. Right. I wonder if the fact that I have Botox means it's hard for me to wake. Are you almost full yet? Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. Wasabi. I kind of underestimated the appetizers. Classic ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Do you put more oil on my nose? I love sake. I'm hitting a wall right now. So let's take a break and watch. start watching what you're doing. Okay, bye. All right, so I'm back home right now. This morning we got up pretty leisurely and our checkout was at 11. We just hung out at the condo, kind of cleaned stuff up, packed and everything like that. I will leave the link for this Verbo property below. Basically it's a collection of condos and all of them have a beach view and like a private beach area. So I'll leave a link below and then make sure to check out the condos that kind of like attach to this one because they're all really, really nice and kind of different depending on what needs you have, like different numbers of bedrooms and stuff like that. After that, we started driving into town like towards the Malibu Country Mart and we saw the Malibu Country Kitchen. <laughs> Malibu Country Kitchen. I got like a breakfast plate, Joe got a burrito. Everyone like was explaining to me that I needed to have gotten a burrito. I'm not a big breakfast burrito gal, more of a breakfast taco gal. Joe got the burrito and he loved it. It was just like a nice little like roadside restaurant. You just go up, order, and then take it to go. So a plus to that place. And then we went to Blue Bottle Coffee in the Malibu Country Mart. And then, most importantly, I noticed that Planet Blue was having a store closing sale. They do still sell stuff online still. I actually got this top there, but the Malibu store front is closing, so they had like 90% off. And then we headed back into town. Now we're back home in downtown. But we really had the best time this weekend. Like I said, I will link the Verbo property below. I have a Malibu highlight on my Instagram, at Peyton Sarton, if you wanna check that out. Big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Do all the things, like this video, subscribe, find me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.